Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I'm going to show you an alternative to building low tunnels with hoops and rebar and all that kind of stuff. This is really inexpensive, multiple uses. You can use it to grow longer into winter, which I'm going to be doing now, and you can use it to start growing earlier in the spring, going from the cold into the warmth of spring. This is about, I don't know, 12 feet, 15 feet of a single row right here. I want to protect my dwarf kale and I'm going to clean this up so that I can plant some other things throughout the winter. Instead of building elaborate hoops, like something over here, you don't need to build anything elaborate like that. And right in there, in the back, you can see some metal hoops. You can do that, but this is much more cost effective. This is what I'm going to show you how to build today. Much more cost effective than using PVC pipe to make hoops, buying rebar, using wire mesh. It works really well as a cold frame. Great to extend the season from fall into winter and from winter into spring if you want to get things started much more early. Some clothesline, a hammer, something for staking. We're just going to string a couple of lines through here. I'm going to set that up. I'll explain it to you. And then the plastic or tarp goes right over that. Real easy to do, inexpensive, and you can leave that clothes, uh, clothing line up and grow around it too. Let me show you what it looks like. This is how I know the heavy freezes are coming. So I just want to set up the bones of support using the clothing line on that strip of land so I can put plastic on it, take it off when I want. Here's a closer look at some of the ways you can support plastic or tarps. And this is using PVC. I have plenty of videos on this. I'll link all this in the video description. This one's a little bit tall, you know, for winter growing, late winter growing. This is a wire mesh for masonry work. You can cut it and you can make smaller hoops like that, cover that over. But it's just basically more expensive. This is a repurposed um, kind of greenhouse thing that fell apart and I could cover that. Using the clothesline and some stakes is the cheapest way to build the supports for that plastic or that tarp. Please subscribe for 2024. I'll show you how to grow food and save some money along the way. So this is the top of the roof, so to speak. This is going to be the high point. This is, I don't know, maybe 18 inches. You can take this anywhere from a foot to two or three feet, depending on what you want to do. And you're going to go right down the center of the area that you want to drop plastic over. And this is going to be the high point. Now you could just lay the plastic over this now. Of course, you know, if it snows or it rains, the plastic is going to kind of get pulled inward. But this is right over the kale. That's enough protection and you would just bring the plastic out to here, weight it down with something, or you can do the next step. And that's just dropping in some posts, maybe to half the size of this one. And we're going to run a line down there. And this way it's making a little house shape, just using the clothing line as support. Really inexpensive. Again, this only cost me a dollar for each of the clothing lines here. I got them at a repurposing store that just collects stuff, sells it at a discount. Just needed the knife, the hammer, and I'm pretty much set up. Let me finish the next two pieces so you can see what it looks like. And you don't have to follow this exactly, just use the principles. That's what I like to teach on my channel. Give you ideas that you can use in your garden and just adapt them to, you know, meet your needs. Here's a look from the side. So, got one side in here and the plastic would come down from here to here go straight down, I'd have overlap, and then something weighing it down right there. I'm just gonna do this side. I don't want the full house shape here in this space. This side, I'll just let the tarp or plastic hang down there. I might use a tarp, for instance, in the spring, if I'm just protecting this from frost that's coming. I'll just leave this up like that, throw the tarp over when I get that extra cold weather or whatever, I wanna protect the crops. Or you can certainly duplicate this side over on the left and this is what it looks like, you know, just taking a look at it. And that's gonna support, again, the plastic or the tarp, low enough to the ground to keep the warmth of the earth around, let the kale grow. Kale, of course, can take a frost, cool other crops can take a frost. I might be using this more in the spring, maybe I'm protecting peppers or something that's growing in there, the warm season crops. So that's the basic design principle just for the structure that would go under the plastic. Let me drop some stuff down so you can see what it looks like. Now, of course, this is not enough plastic to come all the way down here. I have to go buy some more, but this will give you an idea of what it looks like. Left side has the extra post and clothing line. Other side does not. 
nice opening going right down there. Just depends on what you want to do. You can see this side has a nice little roof on it. You could poke some holes in there because when it rains, it'll weight down a little bit. This way the water drips in there. The other side, the water's just going to run down there. Set it up however you want. And then you want to just leave enough plastic so that you can bring it down over the end. Drop a 2x4 or something on there. If you're using something that does poke through the plastic, you know, the best thing would do is to put some duct tape over this piece of cardboard, tape it down, and it won't poke a hole into your plastic. This is the simplest, most effective way to build a low tunnel, allow you to extend into the winter, deeper into the winter, start earlier in the spring, but nothing fancy. This is just as effective of something that you'd spend more money on. Again, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe. I'll show you how to take care of your garden, how to grow food, how to create different structures in your garden, and save a buck. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.